Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is me, your boy, Cytrix here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of Bayonetta 2! Now, you'll probably be wondering why not playing Bayonetta 1. Well, because, first of all, the number one isn't actually all that great. I mean, it was for the Xbox originally, but the graphics don't really, to me, it doesn't really seem to be sinking in all that well, and the, the gameplay mechanics wasn't all that well, well greatly polished. But, um, I think it, all in all, it's still a good story, it's just that a lot has been going on. And so, as you see, I've already cleared out, um, I've already cleared the game, so we're just gonna go in, that's, that's my personal file right there, and that we're just gonna be going straight forward into a new game title right there. Alright. So let's see, options, no, uh, let's see, alright, here we're just gonna dive straight into the story, uh, change costume, Benetta, Jean, Benetta, Jean. Oh, you want to play with Bayonetta? Uh, not exactly, but yeah, that's how we have to go. Well, and of course we'll be doing a normal, because I don't know, I'm not like those guys who like to be giving themselves an epic challenge, like straight off the bat. So let's just see what we got right so far. All right, so here we go straight into the action. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms: light, darkness, and chaos. Oh, I really Obviously, am rusty here. The I haven't played this in a long time. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Ace. Hey, take this, you angel scum. Umbrin Climax. Look out! The great part in the, in the intro is you don't die. You don't have no health or HP. Alright, let's do this. Who's first getting ass kicking? Are these guys are basically spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain. Uh, Where we only see the eye and take that match our rules of the world. Aesir saw through the eye. Anyone else? Oh, they're here. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naive and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves. And it yeah. Each to humanity okay, is. these guys really don't give the much right eye of, life of a challenge in the, the first part. But, life. trust me, it gets harder. Oh crap. This freaking guy with a sword. Dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their oh, own gosh. Man is but a reed, yeah. the most feeble thing in nature. But now, we were thinking of that. And we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir. And take this, and that, and some of this, and that. Uh oh. 
What's with everybody blowing me up? Fancy trick. Cheeky. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. Well, at least you're the silent type. I met spent 20 minutes rambling on and on. What? escape this fate. We will perish together. My dear sweet child, at last you have fulfilled your promise to me. Fear not, for I am always watching over you. But the right eye of light was lost from the world forever, along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages. KK, now that was the prologue from the world of chaos. No, my mistake, sorry. That was the end, the records of time. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the, pro the prologue of the world of chaos. And just before we get this thing here started, um, I wanna try something re real quick here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that, but yes. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so right off the bat, you won't be able to use the amiibo functionality, like, where you have your own Bayonetta amiibo, or any other amiibos, you won't be able to use them on the first one, so, I'll just be continuing on with the first one, because I really want to use the costumes for the first, for the first trial period, so, let's do this. Character settings. Change character, Bayonetta. Maybe change to Star Fox, that's right. To play with okay, and now I'm going to be changing my guns so that you guys will know what it is. Handguns. Handguns. Yep. So that's what you guys are going to get. Alright, let's get this started.
Creature Unleashed continues after these messages. You know what I need? Some heels without guns. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now, is that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you. For free, Dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg, sobbing like a schoolboy? <sighs> this is why I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be well on your way with all the shit you pull. Dressing up like a nun just so you could off some angels and keep the underworld happy. Hey, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> uh, shit. But if it's that or getting torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of Inferno you witches go to if you break the contract, forget about it. I'd off the fucking wing bastards all damn day. Oh, hey, what the hell? But what the fuck you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? Whoa. Done and done. Let's go home, Enzo. Hey, wait a second. I ain't done here. If I don't get what I came for, I'm gonna be the biggest mutt in the city. And what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Eh, real funny. I know better than to tell you a damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of know how to make an entrance, John. A rare sight to see you in the city. Just heard something I had to look into. Cereza, you haven't felt anything strange recently. Now that you mention it, I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. Forget about it. And what's this Cereza shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you've noticed. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. And now in Lightning News, the annual holiday parade is being held today. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities, set to be headlined by a flyover from the military's aerial acrobatics unit. Police have now to lose the previous parade may break all ten attendance records. Whoa, oh, shit! The Platinum Star! I need to hurry up and get Ed and Edna's presents, or I'm gonna get it. We'll talk later. I'll see you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. What's the matter with you? I told you what I'm after. A jet. I want a toy jet. You know, the kind with wings, flies in the sky. No, I'm not buying any damned angels. Yellow, blue, I don't care what color they are. I learned my lesson with those bastards, you hear me? Just a normal damn jet, please. You hear that? I want one of those. The thing's flying in the air right now. That's the one. That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Back it up nicely. 
It's a present for God's sake. No! You know what? Screw the pretty ribbon. Just hurry up and put it in the box, will ya? I try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best. <laughs> Acceptance. Business as usual. And done. We're just skipping past the tutorials and going straight into action. This is why I never buy anything on sale. Didn't I say it? This is why I can't have nice things. Damn it, car! Start already! Right on time to deliver a little holiday cheer. Oh, fucking wonder! Bro, 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 Don? But I don't believe in sin! Watch your mouth, Ito. Don't want anyone offering you for sacrilege before you pay your tax. My feet fucking leaveable! Ah! Now we've gotten our hands on some beautiful toys. Hold up. Ah. 
Uh, take this. Oh crap, I think I still have them set for the, the, um, the handguns. Oopsie! They won't do much damage. Torture attack. Done! Uh, he got hurt. And bam! And this is just way too easy. Bam! Done. Anyone else? Who? And goodbye. Anyone else? Oh, I can see they want some. Torture attack again. I doubt that from Snowball. Oh, it did? Okay. I'm just way too strong. Ugh. Oh gosh, dude, everywhere. <laughs> this is just way too easy. Ow! Okay. Oh, which time is awesome. Uh oh. Incoming. That was easy. Uh. Spoke too soon. What is this thing? A belief? He honestly thought he had us. Umbrin Climax! Look out! Blam! That's so cool. And done. Ah, still getting hit. John. Oh crap. Missed us by a mile. That was quick. Did you get everything? <sighs> Forgot the caviar. You think they're still open? Well, it's not Christmas without caviar. Let's finish this quickly then. 
Obviously, he missed. Ah, missed. And this guy is no go. Punch. This is good. And he almost down. For good. You know what to do, ladies. Let's punch his clock. The climax. And there he goes. That's the show, everyone. Don't forget to pay your, wa your waitress on the way out. What the? Oh crap, forgot about this. What in the world? Gamora. We gotta teach this guy a lesson. Ah, got him nailed there. I'm not letting you get the dang drop on me, nigga. Ah, missed me. Try to dodge there. I saw the attack coming. Yeah, he missed now. And and still got ya, Gamora. Fire. This guy is no easy. All you need to do is just dodge him and then lash out his attacks. His attack pattern is difficult sometimes to pick out on the first time. Ah, oh, like that tail whip just now. Ugh. He's almost dead. Take punch. Almost got him. Ha! Ah, I knew that was gonna come. And punched. Gosh, this guy's annoying.
And Witch Time always saves you. Remember, Witch Time is your best friend here. Ah, he's firing rapidly now. Ah. Now the climax. And nighty night. I didn't complete the combo there because it was confusing for a while. We just took out our own pet dragon with a new badass pet. Sean. Alright, bronze. Lumen Sage. Is revenge not all you desire? I know the one who destroyed your world. I know the one who destroyed your love. Who? get dragged to hell. It is what it is. Jean's gonna wander Inferno suffering for eternity. Dims the brakes. I didn't ask you to tell me what I already know, Rodan. Especially if you're going to be flip about it. You know better than that. You're not the kind to let that sort of summon go out of control, Bayonetta. Something's up. The balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right, does it? You know, she's pretty hot for a dead chick. <laughs> you wasn't a big fan of her shit when she was in the realm of the living. But looking at her now? <sighs> nah, still not a fan. She's not dead, Enzo. She's right in time. You only really dead after your soul's been completely absorbed into another realm of the Trinity. But that's just a matter of time. Cause I don't see no way of saving a soul lost in hell. What about the gates? The real gates of hell? I can't stop you from trying to use them. But I don't think you got a chance down there. I'll see what I can do about putting her on ice for a while. You need this. The heart of an Umbra Witch. The magic that keep your kind alive in this world for eternities. Should keep her body in this realm stable. But you'll need to reunite this with her soul if you're gonna try and bring her back. I figure you got about a day before it's game over. Enzo, you've got a jet, right? What? No! No, 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 no! I do not know! Listen, I appreciate the situation, but you know what today is? My kids got cookies baked for me at home! They're waiting for me! And I still got a place Santa tonight! Let the real Santa take care of the presents. Now let's go! I said I believe, but Ed and Edna, you can't put one over on those two little fuckers, let me tell you. <laughs> hey! Let go! Let go of me! Why do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Alright, so basically we did good on that first mission, and a lot of events have happened. 
Which means now is a mission to go and save our good friend Jean, but that will be on the next episode. So if you guys have really enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for some more content. And I'll see you guys on for some more Fi Bayonetta 2. And this has been Cytrix, and I'll see you all again when things get freaky. Bye!